So here I'm going to give you some details about metal halide grow lights, abbreviated MH. Keep in mind these are not the same as ceramic metal halides. They're just your plain old uh, metal halides. These are being used uh, less and less, it seems like, as the years go on. Um, metal halide lights are available in a wide variety of wattages, 6 and 1,000 watts being the most common. Each wattage has a suggested grow space. Typically 1,000 watts is covering about a 5x5 five five area and a 600 about a 4x4 four four area. Bulbs can differ by manufacturer, but if you see a super bulb, uh, it'll be brighter than a standard bulb. Uh, while commonly rated with a life of about 9,000 hours, most growers will replace bulbs after 6 uh, to 12 months. Keep in mind when you are changing out your uh, metal halide bulbs to dispose of them properly because of some of the contents that they have can be considered toxic. Uh, so we want to make sure we're just not throwing them out, we're disposing of them properly. Typically recommended for the vegetative stage of growth, these metal halides phase due to the increased amount of blue light to keep the internode distance minimal in plants. This can also have good can canopy penetration, but often requires cooling. That internode distance, it prevents plants from stretching and getting really leggy. Um, so this is why metal halides are typically used in the vegetative phase of growth.